Sup, everybody, and welcome to Moments with the Mobleys. I am me, your man, Johnny Mobley Jr., and you don't know your name? You said I'm your man? What did you say? I say the same thing I say every time we get on this podcast. Well, I'm his wife, Deidre. And we something like an ordinary couple. With extraordinary purpose. Greetings, salutations, accolades, and blessings. She different with this hair, y'all. She I'm different. not. She different. He wants me to be different. She different. I want y'all to count how many times she do this. Count. I say she do at least three times. What you say? Money can't buy me love. Who are we talking about tonight, Mo? How Money was your day? Money can't buy me love. How was your day? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, my day was good. It seemed a bit long, but it was good. I was ready to go home ever since I got there. What about you? I was prepared for my day. But mm-hmm. it was real long and it was heavy. Mm-hmm. So, but got through it. Now it's to the fun part of the day. Is it? It is. Oh. Doing this podcast with this beautiful woman beside me. I call her Keisha or Monique. She said her name Delicious. I got to go get me some ones because she said her name delicious. Delicious Deidre, and I don't take ones. You don't take one? No, I take cards. <laughs> <laughs> so you be at the on the pole and people throw cards to you? Well, what pole do I be on? I'm just trying to see because delicious is a stripper name. Well, the only pole that I be on is your pole. Well, you already got all the credit cards. That's what I'm so. saying. I don't take ones. Okay. Well, I'll ones go. take too long to add up. Okay. You is something else. Speaking um, of this, since since we're on the topic of talking about money, first of all, I want to tell y'all to go subscribe, be a part of, hit the alert on the YouTube. Make sure you go to www.momentswiththemoments.com. Check us out. Mm-hmm. Go check our podcast out. Go check our books out. Go check us out, y'all. We doing things. If you have not gotten your ticket for date night yet, I need y'all to do it. February 12th, y'all. Come on. Come on. Stop. Come on. If y'all miss it, I'm telling you, y'all going y'all to see some pictures about it again. And then, I mean, I, I don't... You Girls, come on. ladies, y'all got to go get y'all cute red dresses come on. or whatever color dress you're going to wear. Oh, We're going to be dancing and stuff and stuff and stuff and your heels and stuff and be cute. Yeah. Last day to purchase is February 12th, um, 2022. It's not last day to purchase. It's not Sorry. February 12th. February 5th. I got it right on the other recording we did, y'all. Last day to purchase is February 5th, 2022. Um, there will no be there will not be any tickets available at the door, guys. So yeah. and we do have a limited seating. So please go and get your tickets. Okay. We got some fun stuff planned. Like for real, for real, we're gonna have a real dance instructor in the building, y'all. So um and copy y'all tickets. Be learning, y'all gonna be learning some, some good dance. And some y'all salsa. gonna be learning the salsa, but I'm gonna be learning how to slow drag. They got a grinding session that's going on too. See, I do salsa good. See that? I ain't know you know how to vibrate your tongue like that. <laughs> Do it again. I'm not. I'm not. Because this is the daggone daytime moments with the moment. This is not I, night. No, night. no, 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 no. See where you're going at now. I said that because I, I can't do that. Like roll your tongue. You can't? I can't. All right. Well, that's been the show. <laughs> We're going to see y'all later. It, then this is the quickest episode y'all ever gonna see. Well, listen, because I need to go talk to you about you something. You ain't know I can do that. No, I didn't know because I I can't like you know when 
I, well, I took French, but you know, like they'll try to tell you to say different sayings or whatever that the girls be saying sometimes. Mm. And like, you know, you like, what is it? Like Cardi B or whatever be rolling her tongue. But like in certain sayings and stuff like that or whatever, uh, just to pronounce different things. But I, I can't do it. <laughs> like, I can't do that. Do it again. Bye. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Anyway. Just relax. <laughs> That's what I want you to do. So listen, y'all, we talking tonight. That's a, a whole undercover secret, y'all. Oh. That y'all will never know about. Maybe yeah. I'll put it in the next book. Y'all cannot know about that. Right. So listen, um, can money buy you love? My can buy me love. I'm singing the song wrong. I'm singing the song wrong. And I know I am. You always got a song in your heart, though. Whether it's the right song, wrong song, made up song, whatever it is. Um, okay, so it's the Beatles who have that song. Say you don't need no diamond ring and I'll be satisfied. Tell me that you want the kind of thing that money just can't buy. I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me love. But check this So out. listen. So can money, that's the topic tonight. Can money buy you love? We At, all make calculations when choosing a partner. Does love always come first? Did love come first when you saw me? Lust. Lust came first. Yeah. Lust came first when I saw you. Um, love came later. Mm -hmm. I, we were just 14, so I wasn't really concerned about no money, but mm -hmm. you know, lust came first. But yeah, we were staying with our mom and daddy. So it right. Was, so it really didn't matter. At, at that, that point. time, I actually thought your name was delicious. At that time, you didn't know when you first saw me, you didn't know what my name was, but I thought because you was busy trying to look, you was busy looking at my body. Delicious. I said, I ain't never seen no booty that big in my life. She got to be delicious. And you said, my name, Deidre, close enough. Close enough. I got some ones. What you got? You sick, man. You are really sick, then. Then she tried to tell me, I sing in the choir. I sing for Jesus. And then we're going to be coming up. So... We we're gonna re we're gonna refer to um an article that I found, but we're gonna we're gonna talk about it like legit talk about it talk about it. So, um, money at this point in my life, Johnny, money can buy me love. You said it can. It can. Hmm. It wholeheartedly can. <laughs> because I have been through the through the fire, through whatever come what may with you. Mm. I've been there through the good, through the bad, through the ugly. Mm. I love you. But at this point, to get me to love you some more, mm. buy me. Oh. Buy me whatever I want. And then I'll love you more. I love you a long time. So here, here's my <laughs> here's my response to that. What? You handle the finances. <laughs> do what you want to do. No, but do you think, okay, so give me an answer from you, uh, educated, you know, almost 50. That's a little plug, y'all, because my, yeah, my man have is My man is about to be five zero in one week. Listen. Yes, baby. Now, ask, ask your question. Can money buy love? Can money buy your love? No. If a woman come by, this, you know, come... You you are the age that you are now, okay. So let's do this because we what we're not going to do is talk about it as if we're not married. So we said the only way that we wouldn't be married if if you know is the Lord calls one of us home, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's how the scenario is going to have to be, because at this point, it's me and you, okay. Mm -hmm. So say you know I'm no longer here, right? Mm -hmm. And are you marrying for love or are you marrying for money? It would have to be love for me to get married. So if a sugar mama came along, you ain't necessarily love her because I'm going to be the one true love of your life. Mm. Are you marrying her if, you know, if she can, you know, she want to be your sugar mama? No. See, 
What you, you serve seem, her good, she want to be your sugar mama. What you seem to forget is what I seem to forget. We have lived a a, a very, <laughs> a very, oh Jesus, I don't even know what kind of life this is. A very exciting life with ups, extreme ups and extreme downs. So at one point in time, we had plenty of money. It was a lot. You know, Joker, you was day. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So at the end of the day, you know, having a lot of money, it it, it just don't matter. It's the managing part of it. And it, it, no, it can't make me happy. It can't make me happy. It it can. The only thing money can do is have me a little comfortable. Mm -hmm. But it can't. It, it's not the all, all of all to make me happy. No. Love, if. If something, God forbid, was to happen to you, mm -hmm. the only way I would get married is if I fell in love again. Okay. And no, nobody would ever be able to take your place. They would have to take their own place. I wouldn't be marrying to find somebody to take your place. Mm -hmm. It would just be a whole new adventure. Okay, so so money can't buy you. So you're saying that money can't buy love? No. Well, I ain't can saying money, it can't buy me love, no. But do you think in general? What do you think in general? Can now, money buy can money buy a person love or or happiness? I would I would say this. It's according to where the person is in life. Mm -hmm. So you have maturity, you have levels, maturity levels, you have levels of life that you go through. So I believe at some point in time, some people believe that with the money, it will make them happy. Mm -hmm. But they will soon to find out that's not what it is. Okay. Okay. It's it's just not what it is. It's very, it's very, very, very wealthy people who are not happy. Right. So I know for a fact that, and like I said, there was one time we did have money. So I it's, you know, that's not where our, our riches and our wealth come from. You know, so what I have with you, that's happiness having a, a peace of mind, having somebody I can, it's, it's a lot more to it. Money. Now money can enhance some right. areas of your life. Right. But I will not say that. I, now I'm not sitting here saying that, you know, but I, money can definitely enhance, make things a lot more comfortable. But I mean, I've, I've had stuff. I've had stuff, wanted stuff, been excited about getting stuff, material stuff and got it. And then, and then it just became stuff. <laughs> it just became stuff. Yeah, like legit, because it just became stuff because, you know, it's just like a kid with a new toy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you want get it, it so you bad. You want it so bad. It satisfies you for the moment. And then you, you move on to something else. Yep. It's going to take something else to pique your interest or satisfy you or you know, make you excited about something again only to get it and then you don't yeah. use it again. Yeah. You know? So it's the it's the it's the essence of a thing. So, you know, living as long as we live, and like I said, we've had extreme ups and extreme downs. So yeah, I I believe um I, I yeah, I don't first of all, I'm a I'm an old fashioned dude, so I ain't looking for nobody to take care of me. Yeah. I I'm a man, I won't take care of my woman. So sugar mamas don't do that for me. Well, I know that because yeah. in all actuality, I am your sugar mama and I give you real sugar. Yeah. Sugar cane. Yeah. <laughs> <It's pain God. laughs> now I've had conversations with, let me ask you this. I've had conversations with, um, it was a conversation that I had with um, my old coworker, and this has been years ago, you know. Um, and I know the answer to this, but I want to see what your response is going to be. Um, she was, you know, a single mom for a long time. Mm. Um, and she met a gentleman who, you know, was pretty well off, you mm. know, and he was able to. I guess give her the finer things in life. You know, um, he was nice to her child, treated her child well, mm -hmm. treated her well. This is well, like 
like, like physically, emotionally. Or right, right, right. No, no, no. Like nice okay. as far as not not money kind. concerned. He was kind. You yeah. know, he was kind, but he was generous as well. Yeah. Um. You know, I I don't think the attraction was really there for her. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. far as um, she was, you know, just head over heels in love with him. But he took away some of the needs that she, she he filled some of those needs. And a lot of them were monetary, you know what I'm saying? As being mm. a single mom. So in this, in this point, you know, in this, I guess, situation, you know, what she did say was like, you know, I'm happy. You know, he has money. He can do for me what I can't do for myself or my child. And so in that instance, I looked at it as, I don't even think in that instance, I, you know, I was playing with you at the beginning, you know, saying, yeah, money can buy love and buy me at this point in my, in my life, it can buy me love. But, and, and I was playing, of course, but in that instance, I feel like that's what was going on for her because there was a need there. Yeah. And so she had, you know, she was like, no, I don't love him, but he provides a need. So, I mean, what do you do with that? Well, that's that's something a person has to deal with on a personal level. Because right, excuse me. I mean, and and I would say I would say this if, and just like I said, it's it's according on where a person is in life. So if you have needs and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, and and you know. You, I would say just in the simple terms, you can't figure it out. So you find someone who is wealthy and they would want to, you know, share their their wealth and their life, that part of their life with you to fulfill a need in return for you to be with them, then it's, it's I don't think that's, that's sustainable. I, I just don't. Well, at this point, it ain't money buying love. It's money buying. It's it's a give and take. Or... <laughs> it's a, it's but, you know, money buying. If I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Yeah. So that means if my back itching, I need you to scratch it. Oh, your back itching now, so let me scratch it. But I don't think that's a fulfillment. It's not a, it's, it's, def, it's definitely a need that's being met. And some people, are are you know some people are in a place that where they just tired of being not having money and wanting to find the things in life and don't want to work for it. Yeah. I mean that's the truth. They want to find the things in life, don't want to work for it. They find an opportunity, they take it and they are willing to live with this opportunity to fulfill this need to have this money and don't love. Yeah. Cause I clearly know that that it, that in that situation, and I just brought that up, but clearly in that situation, it wasn't a situation of money buying love because she didn't love him. Mm. She she loved what she he could do for her. Yeah. So maybe that's how it should be phrased. Money money can buy <laughs> your affection or some happiness, or you know, you see what I'm saying? Because yeah. all, I mean, he wasn't a bad dude, but he. In that moment, that's what she needed. So, so is this couple still together? She ended up marrying them. I don't know if they're still together. So what? So I mean, did she try like to have a relationship with him? Or I guess I mean I don't, I don't think it didn't for matter. me. I don't think she was attracted to him. It just didn't matter, right? So she wasn't physically attracted to him, but right. you know, being with somebody long enough and getting to know them in a relationship can can change things. Mm -hmm. you know if if that wind up being the case so i mean i'm just curious to know if if she tried to have a relationship with him yeah i mean because if if he was there and he had money and that's what she that's what her that was 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 her intent at that time and treated the, the baby good and all this other stuff so treated her good so i mean we ain't watching movies we ain't finding ourselves laughing. You ain't finding yourself in my arms, sleeping, doing a movie, something. I mean, moments happen. Yeah. Or, unless she just had her mind on. And this is the thing. If somebody is just focused on getting what they want, then sometimes they're not open to nothing else. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're not open to nothing else. They focus on that. And as long as they got that, they fine. But at some point in time, I believe everybody want to find love, true love. Yeah. I believe that too. Though. I believe everybody, I, I, think, believe I think it's a fulfillment that everybody wants. They crave. So that's my answer. I I firmly believe that um at this point I I would love you, of course, with with or without money. It's better with, but <laughs> See, you spoil, but see, you, but, you saying that now because, like I said, we've been up and we've been down. Right. So, right, right, right. This is a, and, and everybody have different, and see, this is a thing in life when you're living a life with your spouse and you're doing stuff, you have different areas and different levels. So, we were the people who had all the girls in the house with the kids and expenses and stuff mm-hmm. like that, making mm-hmm. the money. But we had to keep the hustle on. We was young. We were working. We were grinding. We was doing what we were doing. Now our life is, you know, <laughs> now our life is like simply, you know, we take our time. We make wise decisions. Um, we always think productively. You know, we, we try to do that in every area of our life. So what we do now is a lot more in intentional versus emotionally feeling or going with the vibe or doing whatever. Every now and then we do that. Mm -hmm. But it ain't no, it ain't, you know, we very intentional about stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, the difference is, you know, we got children, but they ain't in the house no more. Right. You know, we got expenses, but, you know, it's, it's definitely what we decide for the expenses to be. And what we decide to do versus, you know, kids being in the house and heads need to be done and <sighs> pampers had need to be bought and and clothes and then nails and then you want to be in the what the band your uniform how much you want back down memory lane you want a what a trumpet what you don't want a trumpet no more. You want to be in the dance team. You want to play volleyball. What the? What is? You want to play basketball. No, you don't want to do it no more. What? What? But the Lord made a way, Johnny. <laughs> I feel like you're reminiscing on things that happened. Yeah, and that's, and I think, girls. I but think in all, that's. In all ages, in all, at all ages and in all stages, girl, the Lord provided. He provided you know what I'm every single time. Yeah. My, my whole yeah. thing was now I feel like that's, that's what, I mean, that's what people do. They try to find, feel their way out. And I feel like that's what the girls were doing at the time. But at the time, I didn't understand that. I was, I was, I, uh. We used to make them calls and you'd be like, hey, all right, so. Such and such want to play such and such and there's such and such amount of money to sign up. I'm like, okay. okay. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. And then the money, <laughs> hey, all right, so she don't want to do this no more. She won't do this. What? And it's such and such and such. We get the money back from the other day. No, we don't get that money back. You what? don't. We don't ever get that money back. What? What is happening? I don't. Ugh. Okay, yeah. so and we we've, we've I've won a couple article that I, articles that I looked over says money can buy it because it takes money, you know, to to in a relationship and it takes money. Of course, you know, if I guess they're trying to take it one step further by saying, okay, so. Money can buy you love because it takes money to to date. It takes money to, you know what I'm saying, to yeah. live. It takes money if you decide to have a family. It takes money to raise the kids. It, you know what I'm saying? It takes money to do this. It takes money to do that. But in the literal sense of saying, can money buy you love? For me, it can't because my love doesn't have a price tag on it. Yeah, yo love. Yeah, and if it did, it'd probably be very, very expensive. What? Just look at you. What? This dress is how many years old, sir? I don't know. It's several years old. I just wash it and hang it up to... Hubby hangs it up to dry. So And, and I wash it, too. Put your business out there. She upset. So I'm you gonna just un- uncover me like that? No, as if that I, was, I, don't I, don't never, was, I don't think that was uncovered. You, it was uncovered, The people Johnny. already know I washed the clothes. I washed some last weekend. <laughs> 
Man, we get out our whole life. Uh, what? <laughs> no, <laughs> sir. You will not, and you shall not, and you shan't no, not you try to it, throw me up done. under the bus. You get it done under when the when bus. It's you get it done when it's needed. You get it done when it's needed. You Yo, are something else. It's just, it's just your pattern of how you wash clothes. Right. I just have a very different pattern that's, than you. That's that's, that's I word. wash them. And then a day go by, and then I wash them again. A day or two or three. And then I'll come in, and I'll be like, I'm going to wash some clothes. And then i look at the clothes in the washing machine, and i grab them, and i be like, they ain't, they ain't wet. Baby, the clothes are washed. Just wash them again. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do get a little aggressive, y'all. She be off. She, I'm, I'm telling the you. The next question was, you know what the next question was going to be? Well, how long they been in here? It don't matter. She don't even let me. She don't even let me. She don't let me ask the questions no more, y'all. She don't even let me ask. She be having an attitude. Throw another part in there and baby, just start it all over again, baby. The clothes, the clothes on the washing machine. They just wash them again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you upset? I ain't gonna he say that. Look, and I'll be in a, I'll be in the washroom like I'll be in the washroom like this. I make no sense. She done put this stuff in here. I waste a whole part. <laughs> And then put it in here, and now these clothes could have been molded or ruined or something. And that just don't make no sense. She just need to leave the washing the clothes to me. That's what she just need to leave. It to me. Just leave it to me. I wash them, and then I got a sack. I wash and put them in the dry. Wash and put them in the dry. Wash and put them in the dry. Take them out dry, and then you know we get them done. But I, I don't. I don't. She put them in the washing machine, and then it it be gone. Anyway, I don't know how we got on that. So listen. Okay, so I'm about to take a turn. I'm about to take a left turn because this was something we was talking about the other day, right? Mm. Okay, so money making somebody attractive. We were talking about this, remember? We were talking about this the other day. So I don't really know. So I'm gonna tell you why. I don't I believe, really know. I'm gonna tell you why I believe. I don't really know, baby. In some situations, money can make a person attractive. Because, so, and th- and this is me thinking the way I think, y'all. I already know how I think. So money, money in some instances can give people confidence. Right. And it's the I confidence part. That makes them attractive. That makes you attractive. Okay, okay, come on. Come so, on, come on with the nuggets. So if you, if I come from nothing and then become a millionaire, and then I'm smart with it. And then I'm I'm yeah, that that's a whole different sway. Okay. So yeah, okay. the confidence in any some people are not the best looking people in the world, but right. their confidence is what makes them attractive. I think confidence is attractive on any it level. Is. It is. It, it is. It don't hurt for a person to be nice looking right. and have a nice body right. and right, all right, this right, other right. stuff. But I'm telling you. And, and folk who understand what I'm saying, everybody's not like this, but money makes you confident, not arrogant. Because some people just, because uh, mm-hmm. they I, got money. I, they I, just I think, wanted to say that today, but yeah. I understand. But some people are confident from a place of, I have money. And then, you know, having money, when you smart with it, when you manage it good, it takes stress off you. So it it provides a lot of different things. Um, that's why the song with the song, uh, money. Um, I I just forgot my thought. Oh, just keep saying what you were saying. It'll probably come back anyway. So, but money can provide a lot of different things, but you got to understand money ain't got no emotion. It ain't got no gender. It ain't got no motive. It don't have nothing. It's just a means of. It's a resource. Basically. Yeah. That's, that's all it is. It ain't basically, that's all it is. It's a resource. So it's based on your perception and where you at in life and how you do stuff, how it makes you respond, react you know, whatever. Yeah. So I don't think it's, it's, it makes you, I think it's a resource of 
you know, it's it's something about going in a restaurant, the finest restaurant, and you know, being able to buy you anything on the menu. But then it's something else when you can go in a restaurant and just buy the restaurant. <laughs> That's a whole nother. <laughs> You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a whole nother yeah, 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 level. Yeah. Go yeah. in a restaurant, purchase the restaurant, and just just our spot. See, that's that's a different kind. That's a different kind. That's a that's a whole different kind. Of yeah, that's okay, different. Okay, so okay. you know, it's it's just different levels, and everybody, even people with money, everybody don't think like that, right? You know, taking somebody to the finest restaurants, finest spot. You know, buying and getting the restaurant, shutting it down, having the chef, cooking everything. And then you got other people who just just buy the restaurant. Buy the restaurant, flip it, do something else with it, and then resell it for four times as much money. It's just a it's just a different confidence. So what you're trying to say is if I would have met you in our adulthood. That I would have been drawn to you, your confidence in you because of the amount, the millions of dollars that you possibly would have had. I would have been drawn to your confidence and not your looks. Yeah. So as a younger dude, uh-huh. you know, if I did not have a wife and kids, mm-hmm. having some of the money in the areas that we did have when we did have it, I don't think I would have made smart decisions. Right. I believe that. I just, I, I just believe don't. that. I just don't. Um, I don't think they would have been completely stupid. All of them would have been stupid. But I don't think I, I'm. I'm completely a visionary now, so it's completely different. I think about not. I'm the dude that bought a restaurant and flip it. That's who I am. Well, you just came out and said that, so I don't think you would have yeah. said that had you not been. No, I'd been have been the dude that. before. So, I'd have been the dude before to. Take rent, you to it, right? And, and then it rent out. it out, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. You know, because you was showboatish. Yeah, you was a little showboatish. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna get the restaurant, and I'm I'm finna I'm finna show my baby a good time. But at the same time, when I'm done doing this, I'm finna flip this thing, get my money back. Plus, that's the type of stuff. Well, let it be. Let it be so, according to the will of you the Lord. You already know who I am. G- I mean, I know who you are. But it, my feeling is this, Johnny. I some people, I don't care how much money you got, you just you have to be aesthetically, and that's the word. You you got to be a little bit. But I'm telling you, pleasing so, on the eyes now. So, and but that's according on where you are in life. You're right. You're absolutely right. That's according on where you are in life. You, we are in a place to where we are. Our identity and our purpose is a lot more confirmed now than it was. Right. Before. Well, of course, you're absolutely right. So when you don't know who you are, you can be swayed and dragged and drug any direction. OK, so listen to this. A lot of us have endured relationships where one person didn't contribute financially when they could. It turned into a flashpoint. After all, it's irritating when one person keeps consuming your resources and offers nothing in return. I mean, could they at least vacuum? So this is a scenario, guys. That I'm reading. <laughs> Increasingly, men and women alike have been adding financial independence to their mental list of qualities they, they want in a partner. It's not greedy. There's an element of self-preservation here. We're not gold diggers. We've just gotten more practical. Whether you're a man or a woman, Odds are you're looking for someone who can at least pay their own bills. We've created a society where we literally can't afford to love someone who can't become an income earner. If we do, then we're also forced to admit they're a liability. There's no point feeling guilty about it. This is where we are. (laughs) So let me. (laughs) That was under the the title that said money can, can make someone attractive. Yeah. So let me tell you, I, I saw, and I can't remember, I don't know if I need to say this. Can I, can I legally say something if I saw a TikTok, but I can't remember who said it. So I saw a TikTok, and it was this young lady on there. Uh-huh. And she brought up a, a, a conversation she said she was having. And she said um, she didn't like it when a man say what you bring to the table. Oh, Like wow. if you want to date me, mm-hmm. you want to say, 
what you bring to the table. Mm-hmm. She said, this ain't no interview. This ain't how this go. She said, if you attracted to me, then what you coming to do is to date me. Don't ask me what I can bring to the table. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was very interesting. I was like, huh, don't ask me what you can bring to the table. And she said, when you a man, why are you asking a woman what she can bring to the table? And of course, I was thinking, well, I mean, you want to know what you're getting into. Get to know me. Date me. Mm -hmm. Do you think that he should have asked her, asked her that question, though? I don't. I don't think the the absolute question. We in twenty twenty two now, so right. it, it don't. It, you you could be you asked get that anything. Right. Well, yeah, you I could wouldn't be, be asked surprised anything. What's being asked? But I but. think I think I think if if I was dating, if I was to see a woman that I was attracted to and I wanted to date her, I would date her, get to know her, and then I would go from there. So in essence, what you're saying was she was kind of offended or taken aback that no, I just think she thought, it, she thought it was she it thought was it tacky. was tacky. It was tacky. She thought it was tacky. Okay, so she said she said romance and everything is like gone now. So it's like even when you dating now, you want to date me. I want to be romanced. I want to be you know create something, develop something, take me out, wine and dine, you know, do different things. And on my, me on my hand, I would do the exact thing as we get to know each other. But she said all that stuff is good. The romance is gone. Now it's like an interview. Well, I feel like this. Uh, there, The world has absolutely changed oh, yeah. a lot more since, say, we first started yeah, dating. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm here for all the romance and things. But let me flip the coin on another side because it's interesting that you brought that up. Because I had a conversation with somebody and I'm not going to give the name, but this was somebody that the Lord laid in, in my spirit, you know, mm. and I had talked to her before about a relationship that she was in, you know, and stuff like that or whatever. And I had this conversation with her today. So that's really that's really God that you even brought this TikTok thing up, because what I said to her was I said, you can absolutely tell me to mind my business. Mute. Y'all keeping a, a track on how many times she do her hair? All right, go ahead. <laughs> uh, you can, you can, I, and I told her this, I prefaced the conversation with this. You can tell me to mind my business. You can tell me I'm way off base. I said, but the one thing that I've been, you've been on my heart. And the one thing that the, you know, that the Lord put in my spirit is to tell you, um, it's great that you are, you are enjoying the this relationship, you know? Um, but don't forget who don't forget who you are in him or don't forget that that vertical relationship comes first. And also don't don't blame what the vertical relationship is. Oh, relationship with Christ. You know, okay. keep cultivating that relationship. Keep relating to Christ. You know, no, no matter that, you know, it doesn't matter that there's a new you're in a new relationship. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. you're getting to know this person um, or, you know, for several months or whatever. But the one thing that I did say to her is. Don't lay down your dreams and your desires that you had yeah. before you met this person. And the last thing that I said was still be about your business because, yeah, he might have something to bring to the table. But you need to have you something to bring to the table as well. Yeah, absolutely. And so not that I'm saying that, you know, it was OK for a do old boy to, you know, answer that question just straight off the rip. Yeah. But again, things have dramatically and drastically, drastically is the word I was looking for, drastically changed since, you know, 20 years ago or yeah. 25 years ago. But <clears throat> for me now. I would empower and I do anytime I'm I'm, I'm given the opportunity to like, yeah, say, you know, in other words, like get yours because yeah. because I do find, you know, when I'm, you know, watching TV or I may be hearing about something or talking about a story or talking to somebody, uh, there are a lot of women out here who want to, you know, you you don't find it to be a problem when you ask dude when y'all me. So yeah. what you do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what do you do? What you do for a living? What you do for a living? And I you think, know, what, I think, all and this, so that's basically saying, you know, like what you got to offer me, yeah. what you bring into the table. But you feel some type of way if he say, well, what do you do? You know, what what do you have to offer? What do you have to bring to the table? Because I think fellas now are saying, I think some of them are maybe saying, like, man, it's time out for all this stuff about you trying to figure out 
you know, if I got benefits, are you trying to figure out if, I, because the one thing and that I would always tell that I would, that I do make sure that I do when me and my daughters have conversations and stuff, make sure that you, you have, have something, you know, not that y'all have to prove yourself at this point because they're all, you know, in relationships, but make sure that you, you're, you're still being intentional about what you're doing in life. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Make sure that whatever dreams, whatever desires, yeah, you want to make sure that you're undergirding and supporting your husband, but don't lose sight of the gift that God gave you as well yeah. and what you bring to the table. Because when I met you at 14, I, you know, what? We were kids. But now that I'm, you know, almost 50, I think it's even more important, not that you're bringing something to the table into the house, but that I am too. Yeah. Because I'm, you know, I'm helping you. And and so we we still are working in 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 um other people's dreams. But at the end of the day, how much sweeter it's gonna is it is for us to do this yeah. and be in our own dream. And then for it to be um, you know, our dream that actually pays off and, and brings, you know, millions and billions in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that's that, like I said, it's it's ironic that you said. You, you brought up that example for that because at the end of the day, and I'm saying this like for real to all women, not to say, you know, do it so you can throw up in a man's face. Well, you know, you got this or you got that, but this is what I bring to the table. So, you know, I'm the head B or just whatever, but yeah. still understand that it matters that you, especially if you're still dating, don't get so caught up in, okay, now I got him or I met him and he's sustained you know what i'm saying mm. or he has this amazing job with these amazing benefits and now i'm just gonna go and lay down and just be with him because he can offer me this and i'm not gonna still give that same energy or, you know, or that same effort to you know grind and 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 you know what i'm saying yeah. and do whatever it was that i had been passionate about before i met him if you was passionate about something right i don't, I don't <clears throat> in 2022 i don't see you not having the conversation i think um the conversation has to be had um at different levels um while you're dating um be intentional and smart and wise about the words that you use you know be respectful all that good stuff but at the end of the day yeah i yeah i i got business you got business can we possibly put our business together and yeah a bigger business or you know, can I help you with your business or am I in the business I want to be in and you doing something I want to do? And I'll be like, oh, I always want to do that. Let me help you grind on this. You know, and we always say, you know, at the end of the day, we always bring it back to God. We always say you marry somebody equally yoked. Um, you know, my wife had dreams. She had goals. Um, you know, once they begin, the more she grew and mature, the more her goals and her dreams matured and her being here with me helping me grind and be there and supporting my goals and the things that i want to do automatically open up opportunities for her so you know but that combination didn't happen till later on in our life yeah because i was still trying to figure out who i was she was trying to figure out who she was we was trying to grab a whole lot of identity then we had to get a little taste of our purpose. We thought it was one thing and it was not that. And then we did not do this, you know, so it's just different things. And then once everything started clicking, we found our rhythm, then it began to change. Yeah. So it was like, it was at times to where it was time for me to step back and support her in whatever adventure she was trying to go after, whether it was her dream or her goal or not, it was all it was all necessary to build the confidence, get you where you're at now. Right. Absolutely. So, and to, and, and it wasn't, it was not about picking something that was a, you know, that you tried to do that failed. It had everything to do with me supporting you while you was doing it. Right. So it gave you the courage and the bravery to go after the stuff that, that was bigger than you ever thought you could do. Yeah. And then you can do it. So that's, that's what all that stuff is for. It's not for to, it's not for two. I, I didn't make it. Well, she done had 17 failed there. I think you need to slow down a little bit. You ain't making good choices. It, that ain't what it's for. It's about the support. Because at the end of the day, yeah. I grab a hold of a lot of stuff that didn't work out 
<laughs> either. <laughs> So yeah. I mean, it's just it's we just did. a part of the process yeah. of finding out who you are. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that helps build your identity. Your identity. It helps build your identity. You looking for your shoes? I'm fine. Okay. Okay. It fine. helps build your identity. You have the support that you need, and then all of a sudden, bam, your purpose shows up. So once your purpose shows up, you are confident in who you are, which is your identity. Then you can't be swayed either way. Now you got some power with you. So now you're moving into what you're doing. You're making decisions. Now, not only do you have power, but you got the support of somebody who really loves you, who really knows you. So that just changes the game altogether. Yeah. So I think, but now I can honestly say, and I know we've been saying different things, y'all. Y'all probably be like, oh, they're playing all oh, they serious. But, you know, the younger Deidre may have had a different answer. But now that I'm asking this question and answering this question, at the 49-year-old Deidre, you know, absolutely not. Money can't buy love, you know? Um, I And I wholeheartedly believe that. Of course, you need, you know, money to function, you know, in the world and to, you know, do things and to build things and to buy things and all these stuff or whatever. And things, you know, sometimes make you happy for whether it's a, sometimes for a little while, sometimes for a long time. But the Deidre that sits here today says no because, you know, like you said, babe, there have been times when we've had, you know, <clears throat> you know, a large sums of money. But there was also a time when we had no money L and literally, I mean, none. And we had some of the best times. Absolutely. When we had no money. <laughs> and I think and I, none, Jesus. all of, all of it, it was it, a part it, of, of God's plan, because. Yeah. Here's the yeah. thing. When you have a lot of money and you don't know your identity, you can hide behind it. You can use the money to portray something, to portray that something really that's not. not really there. Yeah. So you have moments of happiness because you buy something and then once it's, it's not new no more to you, then it's gone. So you have that. But when you ain't got no money and you got people and family who support you, you have conversations. You build, you plan, you have fun. That's the difference. When you got money, have fun. I don't want to do that. I don't need you. I can go over here and do this over here. That's that's a little part of what money can do. Because like I said, people get confidence when they have money. But you got to have just more than confidence when you got money. You, the number one thing you need to do is be be a great manager of it. Because if you don't, then you will just have money in spurts and then you won't have no more money. But the other thing you have to do is be, be humble with it. Yeah. But then you have to be a good manager of it. But then you have to always be thinking investment. You know, always thinking about how you can grow it. But at the end of the day, you can have all the money in the world and you ain't got people, man. Yeah. You just not go get yeah. it. Yeah. Cause I, I, and like I said, at this point, I wouldn't change the, the love that we have between each other, the love that we have for our family, the happiness, the joy that we have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That you can't put a price tag on that. No, not at all. Absolutely not. And people, and some people can walk around and, you know, what they said, you know, perpetrate the fraud. And act yeah. like, oh, I'm just, I'm just so happy because I got millions and billions of dollars in the bank. But though you would be surprised, yeah, they're some of the unhappiest people because I, I truly feel when, when you, when you honor each other, when it, it's not about a cost, it's not about a what you can do for me, it's not about a what I can do for you, but it's about true, genuine relationship. Yeah, you know, all that other stuff gonna come. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I think one perk of it, I know for me, is the fact that you are aesthetically pleasing to my eyes. You are. You're very, very, you're a very wise man and you're a very wealthy man. So I'm blessed because of that. Yeah. So I just thank the Lord that he loves me and is most kind to me to bless me with you, mm -hmm. baby. And I bless God that you are my rib and you undergirth. All of me. Amen. All the time. Amen. Because I just need you to relax 
and know that I got you. You got me. <laughs> okay. Amen. All uh, right, boy. We finna get out of here. Thank y'all for listening to us ramble. We hope we uh, help with that. That was a little. We we was talking about money, and then yeah, it, we went a lot of different ways. Yeah, but, um, but it, it do it, it, it does help. it does impact a lot of different areas. It does of your life, y'all. And the one thing, let me tell y'all something. I know that we are gonna be quazillionaires because the one area of our lives that we have been thoroughly tested. And I'm talking about I'm I'm thinking, and I want to say like every corner of our marriage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like not just oh we were we was a little tried and tested in our finances in year five and years. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in different but, areas all over. Yeah, but so we're better and we're wiser. Um, and so I just like I said, just you know, just make y'all just. No, please know that you know it's a lie. If y'all think it's it's gonna buy it, it's a lie. Yeah, it's gonna buy what it can buy. You know, yeah. it can buy stability and you know, you know that assurity that you may not that you may have a you know you gonna have a roof over your head and clothes to but put on your back and food to eat and this this that and the other whatever. But to be honest, all that ain't even what it's promised to be because it could be gone in the blink of an eye. Yeah, ta da! Change your entire life. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's a no for me. It's the no for me. So the happiness, the happiness, the form ha- uh, it provides ha- a form, a form of happiness. So here's here's our take on that. Happiness is a real thing. It comes in spurts. So the core thing of happiness is joy. Joy is a real thing, and you can conjure up joy from within yourself. You can't conjure up happiness from within yourself. Happiness is what is what happens on the outside. Is, a, is the, I think, the right, as level. I always said. Yeah, but joy, true joy, comes from the inside. It comes from the Lord. The yeah. joy of the Lord is strength. So the joy part of it, of that's the part of it that you friend. can. You know, if you get in a deep, uh, a different part, or uh, a bad part, or a sad part, or whatever the case is, that's a part of joy will conjure up and level up and be like, hey, don't don't forget this happened, and don't yeah. forget this happened. Like no matter what the situation happened. or the, as yeah. I would say, no matter what the lot is in life, because I've got joy on yeah. the inside of me. Yeah, it, that's gonna change my perspective about the situation. It yeah. won't change the situation. But it'll change my perspective yeah. about it. And it'll yeah. give you hope and it'll give you everything. Happiness can come and go. You, it's surface. It's fleeting. Is that how they say it? It's fleeting. It's surface. It comes and goes. But surface. joy, true joy. And we have joy. Yeah. And I bring Johnny joy. She bring me all the joy. And he brings me. You I was about to say. Me. I was about to say something for night night, but I can't say that. It was all it almost came out. When I'm it dry. almost came out. Relax. You know what? We about to go, Mo. Let's go. Well, all right, y'all. This has been John. This has been moments with the Mo. <laughs> she told me relax. I'm a little nervous. Um. Oh, hold on, hold on. He's stuttering. She. Oh. He's stuttering. Got him stuttering. He say, "If you can keep your wife, what would you say, giggling, baby? Yeah. But if you can keep me, keep your man stuttering, keep him stuttering and stumbling. Um. Go ahead, baby. This has been. Th- this has been. Moments with the Mobleys. I am your man, Johnny Mobley Jr. I'm his doggone wife, Deidre. And we are something like an ordinary couple, y'all. And it's been a joy being here with y'all. And we, But we're extraordinary. We got extraordinary purpose. All right. Relax. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna see him on his 50th because he gonna be preoccupied. <laughs> he gonna be relaxing somewhere. Peace out, y'all. Night-night.